Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of DRG uh, Randomizer. Today we're going to be playing Driller for our EDD, right? It's an EDD, that's what it's called. Dude, it, my, my mind has been super scrambled today because, uh, well, the next DRG board game edition has just uh, come out. Yeah, d I just got it. It's the like second edition for whatever the board game is. So it's, uh, excuse me. So it's the, I need to pass out real quick. It's just the, the, like the board game has, has come out like, you know, two years ago or three years ago. I'm not, uh, entirely too sure whenever it came out, but recently, and by mean today, uh, I got a hold of the DRG second edition, uh, with all the expansions, all the accoutrements. So I have the Space Rig expansion, the Biome expansion, the Bulk Detonator expansion, Corlock Tyrant Seed, the Coasters, and all, all of that. Like, I have just got all of that together, and that is absolutely fantastic. I have no idea how I'm going to play it, and also I do not have... Uh, I do not have enough space on a desk to play that thing, because I require, what, two boxes to play, because I need... I need the minis from both of them. Uh, anyway, let's let's see what this stupid deep dive is. This deep dive is in Fungal Bogs. All right, it's Secret Pocket. Okay, you know, everybody thought what I was thinking. All right, it's the Secret Pocket. It's the Boob Pocket. I... Why do people keep things in their boobs? Like, yes, I understand that you have a bra, but, like, it can't be comfortable to just shove a phone in there, all right? Maybe, okay, maybe this is on the same level of people shoving a gun in their waistband. Maybe it's on the same level of that. I, I don't know. All right, you keep a wallet in, in the boob or the phone in the boob, and that's, that's really strange when you have to pull it out in public, just reaching in, in and shuffling around. We have a uh, veteran depositor, flamethrower with 520? Uh, do we have, why is there just bugs? Oh, it's a quartz. Okay. Oh, fuck me. I, <laughs> I, I was like, oh wait, I'm, hello. Yes, I didn't want that. So, oh my god. Well, luckily we have veteran positor, so it's not like I'm going to take that much damage, all right? So we have Sabata. Let's hope it's weak point Sabata. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. I think it is Volatile Sabata, because this bug is still on fire. It's Parasites. Wonderful. This is... It's probably going to be the clean... I think there's a clean that just adds ammo. <clears throat> I'm not actually too sure about that. I, I think it's also just a clean for Sabata. I don't think it's too much of anything. And we definitely have, like, weak points of Bata, because that, that it's dealing a bunch of damage to, uh... It's dealing a bunch of damage to these oppressors and these, uh, things. So, yeah, the, the thing came out, and I then spent, like, probably an hour or more oogling all the things, not playing it, but just oogling it, being like, I, I want... I desperately want to play. Yeah. They just added, like, a bunch of, uh, replayability, because there's so many more, uh... There's so many more missions mission types and just everything that you could ever want for a board game it's just like here you go i think we have damage i do not know i i'm gonna be honest with you chief i do not play with flamethrower all too often in different builds i play like two flamethrower builds and that's or maybe three i play face melter i play compact feed mechanism and i play fucking scorching tide and I think that's that's all that anybody needs to know about my playstyle with Flamethrower, because no matter what Flamethrower you are going for, it plays the exact fucking same. You point at a bug, and you Flamethrower at it, and that's about it. Now, of course, there might be a different thing of you point at the ground, and you Flamethrower it, and then the bug walks into it, and then you Flamethrower it. It doesn't matter. Flamethrower doesn't matter. We might actually have... No, we definitely don't have... Uh, we don't have Face Melter. And we don't have sticky fuel, because we have just too much ammo. So, 
I I don't know what we have. I think we have uh what is it? Heat radiance. I think we have heat radiance. What's our grenade? Grenade will be good. The grenade. <sighs> I was like, what fucking grenade model is that? Oh wait, this is the one that I cook, right? And then it just fucking explodes in my face. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that you can't just hold that down because there's a fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I mean... I'm pretty sure we've all have had that happen to us at one point or another. Excuse me. I like how I say excuse me to be like, I'm going to walk away from the computer real quick. And it doesn't matter. I'm going to edit it out. So why am I even saying it? I did not... Yeah, I have damage. I definitely have damage. The... The, uh... Acid Spitter did not light on fire for that one. I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Well, if I if I have damage or heat, it, it I don't... I know people are gonna say, but it matters! It fucking... Like, why would it matter? You're just gonna... Oh my god, help. I don't want to be in this room. Okay, what... This is the terrifying one. What C4 do we have? I think we have stun? No, we definitely don't, because there's still a fucking bug there. I do not want to be anywhere over here. I do not want to jump, either. Is this fucking shield disrupt? No, this is parasites. What are we doing? I... I just don't have... I just... I, I'm just gonna get out. I don't... <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Why is there so much red sugar? Alright? That's... I think that's another valid option, is why is there... Just have that. I should have cooked that, but oh well. No, I, that landed perfectly. Hello, everybody. I have Flamethrower, so at the minimum, it's good. Yeah, Flamethrower is just really good no matter w what build you go with it. Even people people say that the Flamethrower build is not very good, and I, I have to disagree with them. Or, excuse me, the Face Melter build is not very good, and I have to disagree with them. Like, yes, it is... Okay, whatever. You fuckers win, all right? It, it is worse than just normal fucking flamethrower, okay? Or not worse than normal flamethrower. It's just like, it's a different fucking flamethrower. Oh my god, my range is so bad. Yeah. Okay. okay, let me just explain what the fuck just happened there. So, projectiles in this game have a have hitboxes, right? All projectiles in this game have hitboxes. Some projectiles, and I mean most projectiles, have a little spot that is hittable. Like, it, it, you can stand on a projectile. All right, let me just clear that one out. You can stand on a projectile. I didn't know that web spitters you could stand on, but apparently you can fucking stand on a web spitter projectile. The most notable thing that you can stand on, they removed it for hurricane rocket, or for hurricane rockets, but it is still applicable for plasma burster rockets. So you can ride around on a plasma, or you can pick up doors on plasma burster rockets and like carry them off somewhere. But you'll see like the, the most likely one that you've seen is you throw like a sticky grenade on Gunner and hit the Dreadnought Fireball and it latches on and carries it to you. There is a clip somewhere of me getting Uno reverse carded by that guy and yeah that that's the most likely case that you're gonna see that but that's what just happened and why i got so fucking confused because I, I like that that doesn't happen where the fuck does that happen <sighs> anyway i'm looking forward to playing playing through the freaking drg board game i i don't know whenever i'm gonna do it it's it arrived on a tuesday which is the day that i record everything so i can't play it today of course i'm probably gonna play it with somebody but you know I can't play it today. So, and my next day off is in a fucking week. So it's just going to be sitting on the goddamn table for... I have Rock Carver? Of course I have Rock Carver. Okay, I'm just going to be playing it, or just... It's going to be sitting there tantalizing me for a fucking week. And that's going to be absolutely awful. I... Man, it's just sitting on the desk there. I want to play it. I do not have vamp- oh, I'm at full HP, so I, I might have vampire. I just don't know. I guess I could just melee a bug and f figure that one out real quick. I need all this Morkite, thank you. So the other thing that I have done in the past 
week or so, like three days, actually. It's been three days since the last uh, deep dive, right? Because the deep dive just reset, and I'm playing the... No, I'm playing the... I did that elite deep dive last week, and then I uploaded it like three days ago. So, what? W then this is the new deep dive. So the deep dives are just about to reset because I play it on Thursday, on Tuesdays, and the game resets. The game, excuse me, I play it on Wednesdays because I'm overnights, and you know that's how that's how it works. So I play on Wednesdays. And that's when the deep dives reset. That's when everything resets. Is when is basically Thursday or Tuesday morning. I think it's Thursday. Uh, the one right. Let's see here. Monday, Tuesday. Th so it's a Thursday is when everything resets. So I play on Thursdays, or excuse me, I play on uh, Wednesdays, and then the very next day is when everything resets. It used to be I I would be like on my. Uh, I'd be playing on fucking Tuesday, and then, you know, it would reset whenever I'm going to bed, which is not very pog. My days off have not been conducive to DRG, but, you know, I'm not I'm not the type of person to, like, style his lifetime, life around DRG, even though, it, that you, you know, I'm a, you know, 1998 or whatever. That's, that's my level in DRG at the moment. We have very fast digging. That is, uh, assured, assuredly what we have. I wonder if we have, uh, if we have, uh, Drill's Cool on Kill, or Drill's Cool on Kit, uh, Hit. Let's see. No, we definitely don't. We do not have uh, Drill's Cool on Hitting a Bug, because, if you don't know, that is one of the most overpowered fucking things in the game. Well, it's not overpowered, but, you know, it is insane how well it works. Because if you are drilling bugs, it will just keep your drills co constantly at the minimum cool. Now, does it matter? Oh, fuck no, it doesn't matter at all. But, you know, it's it's something. I, I remember playing a randomizer, or, or no, I played the worst builds on Driller with Goo. And I think it was with Goo or something. I, I don't remember. It's I, I was... Listen, man. If you expect me to remember any everything I've done on this stupid game, you'll be surprised. Though I do know that I have done uh, electric rear load at some point, which I, I I just need to go back and play through all the overclocks already again because it DRG has changed in such a in this amount of time that I have played DRG has changed drastically. Even though that the main like bugs like the only thing that has gotten changed is bugs have been added to the game, which has made certain overclocks worse and certain, like, things better. It is fucking wild. Okay, you're getting c 4 Is that volatile? No. It is not volatile, and I am probably very glad. Okay, I'm fucking leaving. Oh, good. There is a shell back. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Okay, well, I'm gonna kill this shell back. Good job. <laughs> Good job. You just, like, proceed to... I'm gonna try to... During this deep dive, I'm going to... Fuck you. <laughs> that didn't kill it?! <laughs> okay, I get to have fun with this stupid overclock. Oh my god, RSI. RSI simulator, watch out. Let's go. He's spinning around. No, we don't have Volatile. We do not have Volatile because that oppressor is not a... Uh, don't fucking die to the oppressor, please. I need to make sure to go get a resupply. Where's the last bit of Morkite? And last of Quartz, for that matter. I don't know, dude. I just... Okay, well, there's some Morkite over there. That means there's probably some of Quartz over there. So I know I'm supposed to, like, try and figure out my perks before that. I have Heightened Senses and Field Medic. Okay. I'm I'm so glad when I randomize into Heightened Senses. That means I don't have to care about leeches. I, I, just, I just walk into a room carefree. Leeches are the number one killer for my solo games because I am... I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't care. Like, I don't... I don't fucking... 
listen while I'm playing the game. I listen whenever I'm, uh, you know, playing with randoms because I'm just sitting there vibing by myself. Now, uh, in solo games, I'm talking to everybody here and, you know, everybody here. Yeah, there's... Who's here? Hello? Me. <laughs> no, you're here. You're probably doing some work. You know, I'm on, I'm on the second monitor. I... Who watches me on the first monitor? I want to know that one. I... Because you're a special breed, all right? You're literally just watching some random play freaking DRG, and it's... There's nothing special. I don't do anything special. I am just... I just play the game. I don't, like, do some sick, nasty fucking 360 skill shots or, you know, play Hazard 5 plus all modifiers because, A, I do not find Hazard 5 plus all modifiers fun. I have recently, very recently, been going into Hazard 5 with, uh, Hazard 5 plus with Double Swarm and, uh, Bug Aggression at the max. Like, very recently I've been doing that, and I'm trying to get used to that before I make a video on it. Though, uh, you know, I probably should make a video on it relatively, uh, soon. But, you know, it, that, that's that been what I've been doing recently. I, I just joined, like, a few missions with that, and it was absolutely insanity. The bugs, I, I knew bugs were spawning behind me, but I have bugs to deal with in front of me. And... By the time I am not even done with the bugs in front of me, because I, I assume, okay. Oh, okay. That feared him. Yeah, we did it. You know, these things are actually like pretty good as, as many uh, C4s. Like I, I think the the high explosive grenades are actually really good for what they are. Because the ability to cook them makes them interesting and makes it so that I, I do want to run them every once in a while. The problem is, is that, like, you already have a C4, right? Now, there is some special cases. I'm just gonna fucking... Okay, hold up. Let me just, let me just question why I didn't get fucking absolutely blasted there. I didn't get sent back 50 mil... He's back. <laughs> what is it with this game and giving me oppressors? Hello? Hi, oppressor. You wanna you wanna not exist anymore? Goodbye. You're you're gone. I have I have skull crusher ales. You you don't live anymore. Yeah, we definitely don't have vampire. So we have a. Uh, I don't have nades anymore. I can't just take him from full HP to zero HP. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. When's the last time you heard the ever? I hear Despacito probably every single day of my well, every single work day of my life, because Despacito is on the Walmart's playlist for whatever fucking reason. I listen, man. I do not vibe with the Walmart playlist because they are some of the most annoying songs on there. Like, uh, what is it? Uh, clap your hands or whatever. I can get you to clap your hands or, uh, yeah, you're being fucking blown up. It's a more ranged C4, which, you know, is commendable. I, I do enjoy the range that thing has. Yeah, shoot me if, whenever I'm behind here, dummy. I am a driller. I do be drilling. Yeah, no, I, I think... I think... Hello, Rock Carver. What's going on? I think, uh... I don't remember... What? They, did they buff Veteran Depositor? It, it functions on Drop Pod as well. I know it functions on the refinery and the point extract, uh, but I didn't know it functioned on drop pod as well. I guess that's for uh, salvage operation buffs. So for clarification, the thought train that happened in the last mission, I was speaking about something. I have no fucking idea what I was speaking about, and that was ten seconds ago. I looked at my I looked at my left wrist for my watch. To be clear. I wear I wear my watch on my right wrist. So, um, you know, there's already plenty of problems with what just happened there. All right, can this barrage infector be deleted before That's right. There is a uh, ghost bolt happening. I guess I can look at my build already. I Like I god, we we have 
point extract and this as our for and a ghost bulk and we have veteran depositor like what is it <laughs> like what is this fucking mission we have veteran depositor for all of this garbage why is there so many loot i need to go kill those loot bugs you bastard loot bug i do not want to be pushed yeah you can have this <laughs> please die Oh, no. There's a second one? I want out. Do not pull me. Do not pull me. I do not want to be... I do not subscribe to the pull. Where's the... Where is he? I don't know where he is. Well, you know, it's goodbye. He's over there. Well, he's dead. God, there's so many fucking loot bugs. I love this mission. Oh, do I have a... Do I have... It's a bug thing? I'm going to assume no. I think I'm correct. All right, let's look at my build because I assume I have a clean on both of them because I nothing. I don't see anything interesting with both of my primaries or both my primary and secondary. So I have a clean on both of them. I have lighter tanks, mag size, unfiltered fuel, which is damage, and both ammo and heat radiance. That's a perfectly fine build. All right, very clear here. Perfectly fine. You're not going to go wrong with any of that. Then we have improved accuracy, damage, improved accuracy, damage, uh, neurotoxicalis. That's a problem. This this Sabata is a problem. But, like, what the fuck else are you going to build Sabata like? We have veteran depositor, unstoppable. I could have figured that one out on last mission. And friendly, never could have figured that one out. Uh, then we have uh, more damage. Extra ammo and rock mover. Completely fine satchel charge. Both drill upgrades, which... Okay, so people are talking about the drill upgrades being... Like, there, there's one group of people who have watched Drilling in the Name of saying both drill upgrades are bad. And then on the complete flip side of them, there is uh, people who are saying that both drill upgrades still do something. And th so the use case for both drill upgrades is if you're going down or up. If you are jumping while going up, you're going to be digging much faster than if you didn't. Now, does it really matter? No, it doesn't matter at all. Maybe you're saving, like, like maybe five seconds of your time. That's not going to matter much in the mission is five seconds of your time when you are drilling a hole up or down. Now... It could matter if there's a bulk detonator, but at that point, you're just going to be going straight to get away from the bulk detonator or, like, checking your map and, like, wrapping around the cave. It, it, there's so many niche scenarios that both drill upgrades actually matter, all right? That's my, that's my opinion on it, and that's about it. And then, like, we have uh, better weight balance, which is charge speed. That's completely fine. I prefer... I will always feel when a pickaxe has AoE or charge speed, because I power attack a slasher and a slasher doesn't die. I figured it was one of those two. I didn't say so, but I figured it was. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the mission where I will uh, suffer, because I have a ghost bulk. Luckily, it's not. it doesn't seem to be that big of a map, so, you know, we do have Morkite, which is not very good. That's not good. That's very not good. Um, I don't have a good C4. I will always use my C4 for defense rather than offense. That is just what I build my C4 to do, is defense. Because I will build it with stun or fear. I think stun is a lot better because, you know, it's a 5 second stun and a 10 meter AoE, which is absolutely fucking insanity for why it exists. You know, I, I will always say why things exist as insanity like you know coil fear that why is that a thing i don't understand why that's a thing why is it a five meter radius on that when you know i it baffles me that that exists and then it baffles me why we have a a big fucking fear like an actual i'm going in the toilet bowl why a big fucking stun is on a c4 i will not understand that at all but you know it, it, it happens also i need to kill all those loot bugs i just am going to ping the loot bugs and have bosco kill them so there was a second thing that i did 
uh, during the like three days that I played the uh, that I played the last deep dive on, or you know, I, I this is exactly what I was talking about. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, so I played a. There is a series of games called Hunt a Killer, which they are party like party investigation games where you you basically run through a scenario like this person got murdered, find the killer. Here's all the evidence, and you're supposed to like deduce who was the murderer in that whole scene. That did actually uh, scare both Brundles. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a C4 worthy. Um, why am I standing here to do this? I don't know, because I'm fucking ins That's an actual fucking bull. Well, now what? <laughs> anyway, the Hunter Killer series is like a party group investigation game, all right? That is, it's, it's quite fun, because I played, uh, Death on the Vine? Don't do it. How did you miss? So, what I will say about uh, the... This... Okay, well, I was going to pull out a HE grenade and talk about why I think it's kind of bad. Is because because you have to cook it, you have to, like, baby it a little bit. And that's not very good. Okay, listen, man, I... That hit me? The fucking Praetorian gas gave me three ticks of damage. Oh my god, Praetorian. You can have that. Hey, Bosco, can we, like, get that... get the bulk? Please? I understand that the bulk is... Oh, the bulk is definitely... is definitely existing. That's what the bulk is doing. So it's death on the vine, which is like a murder at a grape, at a at a vine in a vineyard. I think it's what it's called. It's a vineyard, like it's a it's a wine vineyard. And so so you have to. Some old person got murdered, and you know the rights to the family is currently there, and you have to figure out who murdered them. Which it's a it's one of the bigger boxes from the Hunt a Killer series. It takes like a. Uh, what is it? It, it? it says it takes four to six hours to complete. I think we beat it in about three hours? Don't slam jam me, Dad. Thank you. I think we beat it about two in three hours with just the two of us, and one of us stopped playing it uh, probably about at the two-hour mark, and I was just doing stuff because uh, I play with somebody who... Once the brain gets going for a while, it's just like, okay, I need to take a break. The brain needs relaxation, which is perfectly fair. Some people can't just work, all, work, work, work. And, uh... So, what it basically boils down to is you had to figure out uh, where everybody was at the time of the murder, which is, you know, usually crossing off alibis is the main way... Oh, I don't have AC Force. That's not good. Oh, fuck. Please kill the Stingtail, wherever the Stingtail is. Okay, well, we're, we're fantastic. I'm going to get Slam Jammed real quick, and that'll be funny. That's... So, crossing off alibis is the main re way to, like, make sure everybody's where they are. And, a uh, fun fact about that about a murder on the vineyard, that is exactly how you do it. There, like, there's not two people are missing an ally, alibi. There is only one person missing an alibi. <clears throat> which, of course, you know, you have to cross off everybody's alibi in various ways, which I, you know, mistakenly thought somebody was just a drunkard and was in a place that, you know, they were at, all right? To be completely fair, they were at that location but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I mean, kind of for the right reasons. They did they did come back absolutely fucking blasted. And, uh... But no, they were at that reason because uh, they had an affair with somebody's fucking 
lover and blah 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 blah. It's kind of fucking funny. But I just assumed that they were there because uh, they were absolutely blasted and, you know, it's literally the wine cellar. Where else would you get blasted at? So that only left one person without an alibi. Of course, like, the, my main problem with the hunt-a-killer death on the vine was, uh, was the fact that the, they have a code, they have a cipher, is what it is, and it's a, if you don't want, uh, murder on the vine, or death on the vine spoilers, they have a cipher, it's a T9 cipher or whatever, it's, so, you know, if you are younger, like, I don't know, 2000s or something, you may not know, but most likely you do, because, you know, the internet's a wild place, uh, so, the, how you texted back in the day, let me just, like, say back in the day, like it wasn't just my fucking time as well. Uh, or not even my time. I, I, I did have a phone like that, in fact. I had a flip phone. So, when you wanted to, oh fuck, I still need the, still need the, I have been ignoring the fact that I need to do the more kite. Yeah, I see you. Oh god. Don't grab me, Dad. Thank you. Uh, well, if you have, like, a flip phone and how you text it on a flip phone would you, was you would press the button multiple times. And they have a cipher that is that. Exactly that. Only they, they don't do it exactly like that. You press the button once, and it's one of three letters. Figure it out, chuckle nuts. Which is... I, I don't like that, because... You're assuming that they're pressing the button once. And just... Uh, it, it was an annoying cipher to deal with. Anyway, I didn't even solve the cipher. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I can... I Without any of the cipher knowledge, because most of the message is not encrypted, and you can figure it out from context being like, what the fuck is that word? Okay, sure. And that's like... That is only one part to the to the other issue that I had with it. Uh, they have a shredded piece of paper. I think you can get what I'm getting at from here. You have you they have a shredded piece of paper that is in lines and the they say, "Hey motherfucker, solve it." And you just look at it and sigh cuz there is two pieces of paper that got uh that got shredded, and you have to figure out which piece of paper is which, and then, you know, put them all together, which they bent them at different angles. It's not all the same bent angle. It's different. Why? I don't... Like... Oh, fuck. Uh, heat radiance will save me. All right. Heat radiance... People underrate heat radiance. Like, people say, oh, targets explode, we'll just be better. Heat radiance provides you with so much fucking safety that there is no reason to take targets explode. Because starting to explode, it does not provide as much safety as heat radiance. I can't go this way. Right? No, I can definitely go this way. The bulk's over there. Or, yeah, the ghost bulk is over there. I need to go get some liquid morkite. That's... Okay. I need to grab all of this. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Okay, I can't ride this back because the ghost bulk is going to be there. So instead, I'm going to hop off this and go over here. So, like, I don't know, man. I, I recommend the that that booklet, which was Death on the Vine. But it was just... The shredded piece of paper was the big one. Of my, I have a very big issue with the shredded piece of paper. Because fuck you, I don't want to deal with that. And fuck you for folding it in different ways. Because <laughs> you're not... You're making it not very easy to, uh... Where am I going? I am definitely going somewhere, that's for sure. I'm going down here. If it wasn't folded in two separate ways, it would have been much easier to actually, uh... To actually... I'm going to place a C4 there and wait till the sting tail comes through. Oh, that's not good. Oh, fuck, I can't come this way because there is a ghost bulk that way. Yeah, okay. I'm so glad I remembered that ghost bulks exist. You guys can have these. Did those actually do something? 
I... I try not to care. So yeah. Um, I'm going to be... I, I've always had a, a fascination with uh, mystery board games. Like, I've played... Uh, I played a bunch of the Escape series games, which I do recommend the Escape series games. And they come with... There's a package of, like, three of them, and they are reusable, which is the main thing that, uh... that puzzle games do not have. Like, puzzle board games. The main one... Or is no, it's the Unlock is the is the is the brand that I'm thinking of. There is a game series called Unlock that is reusable and comes in cards, and that's a very good that's a very good puzzle game series simply because it is reusable. Because a lot of uh, a lot of puzzle games are not reusable. There is a very good brand of puzzle games like, insanely good brand of puzzle games that is not reusable, and that is called, uh... That is called, uh, Escape Series. It's like the whole box is a fucking puzzle, because you use the box itself as part of some of the puzzles that you are playing, and that is fantastic. Like, you build little dioramas and shit, and, like, you have to look around at the dioramas and, like, you know, move them around or remo remove the floor or whatever the fuck have you. That is a great piece of puzzle media, and I will always wholeheartedly recommend. I think they're like 15, 20 bucks per box. And they take like an hour or two to finish, depending on how many people. Now, I will say, uh, it, it's only good for like one, two, or three people. Because usually there's only one puzzle to finish. And, you know, that's the main issue, is if you have two people, one person's just going to be like... It's, you, you're trying to solve one fucking puzzle. What the fuck is the other person going to be doing? Pretty much nothing. And then the other one, the Unlock series of games, also kind of has that issue. Is like, you have two people, you there is one puzzle to be solving, the other people are just not doing anything. Now, the Hunt a Killer series, which was, uh, which is the Death on the Vine, it gives you all of the evidence from the very get-go. So there's witness statements, there's a uh, fucking, uh, there's the, uh, there's the witness statements, there's, like, the family text or whatever, there is the fucking, there's the, like, menus for the wine, there's a brochure and all that, so there is so much more for, a, for more people to do in that and condense all of their knowledge on that. That is 100% the best party uh, mystery game experiences that I can possibly fathom. And there was only two of us during that, so while somebody is trying to figure out the so cipher or whatever, I was reading the witness statements and getting, like, where everybody was at this amount of time and figuring out who the fuck's lying on their witness statement or whatever or trying to be dodgy about shit. So, yeah, that was that was fun for me to try to figure out. And, uh, meanwhile, the man who was doing the cipher was absolutely not having it. He was not enjoying that. First, he was putting together the fucking... He was putting it together the shredded piece of paper that was on, so it, that took him, like, 30 minutes to an hour to do. And then the, he found out it was a fucking cipher. And he's like, oh, fuck, that's not fun. And then he found out that the... Good job. And he found out that the cipher, uh, was stupid. And that also wasn't fun. There is a way to go. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just assuming I'm going the right way. Oh! <laughs> Hello! I am there. Alright, let's... Uh... It is out into the open air, huh? I want out. Okay, we're fine. But yeah. If, if you want a party game, a party mystery game... I re wholeheartedly recommend the Hunter Killer series. That was super fun, and there was a lot of things at the very start to take a look at. Because the the issue with the Unlock series and the Escape series is there is one puzzle at a time. Like, because the Unlock series is based on cards, you'll get like, alright, I have this card, which is the scenario... You need to look for the card in in order. You'll look at it, it's like it's an item or a puzzle. And then you set it to the side, and that's it. 
And then the escape series, you build out the little diorama, which could be fun for one person. And then you look at it, which could be fun, but everybody's going to take a turn to pick up the, the item in question and take a look at it. And it, there's only one item there. So you'll like hand it off to somebody and be like, okay, what am I doing now? There's like a puzzle probably. And then you'll start working on the puzzle, but nobody else is working on the puzzle. Meanwhile, the fucking, the, the Hunt a Killer series, oh, here's the witness statements. Here's this thing. Here's that thing. Here's the brochure. Take a look at the brochure. See if there's anything in there. That That's such a, it's, listen, man, I'm just deep diving onto why I like puzzle games puzzle board games specifically because they're so fucking fascinating and i love them anyway now we have uh, a quartz and kill one dreadnought please crash my game so i don't have to fight that dread all right so when are we fighting this dread we're fighting it, it the first thing or if i don't see it first thing we are killing it uh after the first swarm or trying to anyway i hope it's twins or not twins i hope it's og is there fucking, fucking, there's sting tails on every single one, and you're trying to kill me, brother? Okay. Okay, so we have, where is the, there's a second one? Why is there a second one? There's a warden. Where is the, oh my god. Thank you. I think I actually, I would have taken less damage if, okay, there's the, there's the guy. I need to break him out. How did I know it was twins? I need you guys to be feared real quick. Okay, don't fucking... Don't kill me real quick. Okay, so I need to... That's not good. Okay, I need a resupply, please. I do not have a very good build for this. But, you know what I do have? I have heat radiance, so, you know, take, take a bunch of damage. Why did I hold that for that long? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to use this. And then I just fucking forgot that it cooks. I'm such a fucking dingus. Alright. Do I have breathing room? The answer is no. I looked it to see if I had breathing room. I do not have enough time to grab this. Why did I try to grab it then? If you know you don't have enough time to grab it, why did you try to grab it? What what the fuck's wrong with you? Okay. Take this. Please walk forward. Fine. I'll do it myself. Where's the other one? Oh, fuck. Don't, don't, don't do that. Where's the other one? Is he just not around? Where's the Arbalist? Fine. Fucking dig, dude. I don't care. This is gonna be so shit. I have to not get downed dur during this fucking fight. Because I'm an idiot and didn't, and forgot what uh, armor mod I was running. Are we just gonna be trying to kill, like, ping Bosco for the for the lacerate, excuse me, the arbalist this entire time. Where's the arbalist? Okay. Dude, this ground is so shit. Hey, okay, Bosco, I need you to... Fuck! Okay, we're fine. That hit me directly. That is not good. I jumped into that. Okay, where's the... Okay, we're fine. Just, you know, just ignore... Oh, ignore him. Just, he can't hurt you here. Okay, well, we're fine. Can you die, please? Yeah, specifically you, Arbalist, because I have a C4 with... Fuck. Don't do it. I don't know how to dodge that. I'm just gonna go this way and pretend it's good. I need them to heal so I can get a resupply. 
So I'm just going to try and make them heal, or force them to heal. I have no idea where the other one is. Okay, this is kind of ass. They're at the same HP. I think I can get a resupply now. You're not going to deal that. Yeah, you're not even going to bite me, dude. You're going to instead try to light the driller on fire, fucker. Wow, I do not like the fact that that Arbalist is there. I... Yeah, that's why I don't like the Arbalist being there. Where is the Arbalist? Okay. Are you... Please let me up. Thank you, dude. What are you doing? Okay, that was almost a kill on me. Need to not be around. Can we- can you just walk into the fucking C4, dude? You, sir, are a dick. Oh my god, that was fucking awful. The fucking Arbalist walked into it. Why? Okay, we are so fucking fine. It's... Oh good, we have a swarm. The, sw it, the swarm's not gonna be that bad. He says. Don't do it. Okay. Just, like, get the Acid Spitter down and uh, climb up here because you don't know if there is any red sugar. Don't climb up there because you fell. Well, that's not good. Oh, I thought this deep dive was going to be a little bit quicker. No, it's only been 45 minutes, which is the speedrunning one. So, you know, I'll, you know, each to their own. I need to wait for Bosco to get over here. That's not conducive to my lifestyle. But oh well, we only need to get three more quartz, and there is... Bosco's holding one, there's a quartz on the ground that I mined, and then there is... Uh... Well, there's simply just more. Can Bosco get over here quicker? This is why I run Speedster. Because Bosco is just, like, lazily coming in when fucking speed is up the essence, dude. Like, give me. Thank you. All right, now we can go over here and grab the last uh, a quartz, and then we'll be fine. Grab the last two a quartz, excuse me. So there's one over there, and then there is... Wonderful. Uh, and then there's one down here. Which we'll, we'll just uh, hit, hit... At... What the fuck? Just die, please. Okay, well, that's one way to make the mission spicy. Have a Stingtail try to pull you into a uh, bulk detonator. That is always what you want. Okay, I've already grabbed a resupply. I have not. I'm going to grab a resupply now. Hopefully I have enough time to do this. Yeah, there's just bugs next to me. Okay. We will be perfectly fine. As long as that fucking Stingtail doesn't absolutely kill me, we're fine. Where is he? I do as you can probably tell, I don't like Stingtails. Stingtails are probably the w number one way I die in this game, because they kill you with uh, something that's unpredictable called gravity. Wow, I don't want to be here. Can I jump up the hill, please? Thank you. Oh, hi, Bulk Detonator. What's going on, brother? I don't care what Bosco is doing. I need him now. Thank you, Bosco. Wow. Hello, everybody. Oh, wow. Please don't die to this fall. Thank you. 
Okay, well, I almost died. Luckily, uh, I have the Fates of Fortune on me, and uh, nothing bad can ever happen to me. This is, like, actually recording, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, wonderful. I have to make sure. All right, so we can go get the last of quartz now, because we're on the other side of the bulk detonator. Could you mine that out, please? Actually, I can get it myself. Thank you. We need to head this way. Hopefully Bosco didn't drop it in a dumb location. So that we can just, you know, get going right away. Okay, so there's one, two, three. We're done. All right, wonderful. That's that's the deep dive done. Now we just need to hit it. And I'm going to grab a resupply because I probably need to. The only way I can die is if that bulk kills me in some fucking stupid fashion, which it might. Because I don't know... Okay, well, now it's blocking my resupplies. Oh, that's not good. I'm just gonna go up here. I can just walk... I almost died because of that, uh, thing up there. Yeah, you guys can have that. I don't know why I tossed that, in fact. There's no real reason I tossed that. Oh, fuck. Hi, Oppressor. You want to not be there? I don't know why I'm having such a problem processing where the bugs are. Wonderful. Can I get my resupply now? There's a fucking stink now. No, don't grab me. grab the resupply. I don't care about it. Oh my god, there's a second fucking Stingtail. Die, please. You didn't get feared from that, huh? I'm just gonna take a bunch of fall damage, don't mind me. Alright. Can I grab my resupply now? Yeah, I don't care. Bite me. See what happens. What the fuck is happening with this oppressor? Oppressors have been a menace. This. Oh good, it's dead. All right, we did it. Yay, the bulk detonator is dead. We're, the danger is gone. A sting tail pulling me into a bulk debt is gone, which has always been a possibility, and I, I do not want that to ever be a possibility ever again. All right, wonderful. We're, we're, we're gone, right? We're gone? Where, where's the drop pod? Drop pod's happening in where I, the location that I thought it was, and we're gone. You guys can have that. Rock Carver, not for the win. All right, well, that was a fairly stressful deep dive. Why? Because I died stupidly and then died stupidly again. Just making things spicy for you. You all have a wonderful night.